In order to do substitution in multiple integrals, there's a common set that we need to talk about. Sometimes I call it a map, sometimes I'll call it transformation, sometimes I call it transfer, uh, change of variables. All of these terms are somewhat interchangeable here. I'll, I'll use them interchangeably. And so the idea of a map is that we have a function g from x to y from where these are both sets. And the idea here is that like probably what's going on is that we're going to have a region in the UV plane will get sent to a region in the XY plane. So this region in the UV plane under our map might get sent to like this region here in the xy plane. So that's all when we say map, a transformation, a change of variables. It's something that sends a region in the uv plane to the xy plane. It doesn't have to be, you know, these two planes, but this is these are the letters that we'll typically use. Now, an important special case, an important special case for us to deal with is going to be something that we call linear maps. And so a, a linear map, a, a linear transformation is going to have the form x is going to equal a constant times u plus a constant times v, y is going to equal a constant times u plus a constant times, times v. So a, b, c, and d are all constants. So, as an example, as an example here, we might have x is equal to 2u plus 3v, y is equal to, y is equal to, uh, let's say, negative, uh, well, I'll keep everything positive here, 4u plus v. Okay, so let's take this transformation, this map here, let's change the variables, and think about what it does to, in this case, let's say that this is the unit square, u and v both go from 0 to 0, sorry, 0, 1 to 0, 1. Before I, I do this, let me say here, something special about linear maps is that linear maps send line segments to line segments. Okay, so under, under this map, so, so the question here is, if u and v is 0, 0, x is 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0, 0, y is 4 times 0 plus 0 is also 0. So this map here would send the origin in UV land to the origin in XY land. How about the point 1 comma 0? So that's this point right here. X is going to be 2 times 0, plus, sorry, 2 times 1 plus 3 times 0 is 2. Y is equal to 4 times 1 plus 0 is 4. So the point 1, 0 gets sent to the point 2, 4. And so maybe this is, it's not quite to, to scale, I think, but, uh, no, wait, that's more to scale. So it sends like this point over there. How about the point 0, comma 1? x would be 0, 2 times 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3. y would be 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is the point 3 comma 1. And so this point right here would get sent right there. And finally 1 comma 1. x is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 is 5 y is equal to 4 times 1 plus 1, 
y is also equal to 5. So this point right here gets sent right there. And then the thing that I assert is that linear maps send line segments to line segments. So this line segment gets sent here. This set line segment that's between, you know, so it goes, so, so the origin goes here, this goes there, so this line segment goes there, this line segment goes there, this side line segment goes there, and then the interior of the square gets sent to the interior of this parabola. So this linear map right here sends this square where u and v are both between 0 and 1 to this parallelogram. Uh, one important skill about linear maps is that you should be able to find linear maps that send you know, uv rectangle to a parallelogram with some set of given vertices here. And so the way that we want to do this, you know, that, how, how to come up with this, well, let's just reverse engineer things here. So, 2, 3, 4, and you know, 1 times v here, 2 and 3, 4, and 1, those are corresponding to coordinates of these, of, of the uh, vertices of the parallelogram, this one and this one. So 2 and 4, 2 and 4, those are like going to be the, co the, the coefficients of u in x and y, and it sends, and it's going to send here, 3 and 1 coefficients there. So for example, let me draw a picture here in the xy plane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, something like this. So we have 5, 2, 3, 9, and then 8, 11 up here, something like this. So let's say then... 5 and 2 will use the coefficients, sorry, the entries here of this point as the coefficients on u in the linear map that we are constructing here. And 3, 9, we'll use 3 and 9 as the coefficients on v in the linear map that we're constructing here. So check for yourself then that... 0, 0 gets sent to 0, 0. That checks out. The point z 1, 0, u is 1, v is 0. That will get sent to 5, 2. Point zero one u is 0, v is 1. will get sent to the point 3, 9. And then 1, 1 will get sent to 8, 11. Okay, so, so that's the idea here of linear maps. Uh, and, uh, and so there's one more thing that I have to talk about, which is, well, what happens if we have nonlinear maps? So think about this. Suppose that we have a, this transformation where x is equal to u over v and y is equal to u times v. And let's assume that u and v are both strictly positive, so you don't have to worry about dividing by zero. So we want to think about what you know what, what does what does this do here? And so one one helpful thing to think about is or question is what does this do to lines in the UV plane? So for example, let's think about the line u is equal to c, c is a constant here. So if u is equal to c, and we also want to think about what does it do to v is equal to c also, also a constant. Well, so okay, we have x is equal to u over v, y is equal to u times v. We want to try to get u by itself and v by itself. So if we multiply together 
Let's do x times y. We do x times y, we get u over v times uv, and this is going to equal u squared. Meanwhile, if we were to do, um, if we were to multiply together, let's see here, uh, let's do y divided by x. y divided by x will be uv over u over v. And so this would be, those u's would cancel and we'll end up with v squared. So, so what happens to the line u is equal to a constant? U is equal to a constant. What happens to the line u is equal to a constant? x times y is equal to u squared is our constant squared, which is y is equal to c squared over x. So a line in the uv plane with equation u is equal to a constant gets sent to in the xy plane it gets sent to a hyperbola of the form y is equal to c squared over x. So, 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 so follow with me what's, what's going on here. If we're, so using u is equal, sorry, x is equal to u or v and y is equal to u times v, we multiply x times y, we get x times y is equal to u squared. So if we set u is equal to constant, which represents the straight line, this vertical line on the uv plane, this line under our map gets sent to x, y is equal to c squared, which is y is equal to c squared over x. That's this hyperbola. Now, y over x is equal to v squared. And so if we think about v is equal to a constant. So y over x is equal to c squared, which is y is equal to c squared times x. y is equal to a constant times x. That's a straight line. That's a straight line. So here is, oops, v is equal to a constant. That's a straight line going through the origin. So this is y is equal to c squared times x. So if we pick a different v is equal to a constant, we will get a different straight line going through the origin. If we pick a different u is equal to c, we will get a different uh, hyperbola here. So that's how these kinds of linear maps work. And, or sorry, this is a nonlinear map. We'll be dealing with both linear and nonlinear maps throughout the rest of these videos.